Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through Cozen's test. And this test is designed to see whether or not our patient presents with symptoms of lateral epicondylitis, also known as tennis elbow. And this condition is whereby we have a tendinopathy of the common extensor tendon of the muscles of the posterior forearm, which are the wrist and finger extensors. So let's go through the test. Uh, the examiner has one hand supporting the elbow joint. If you wish, one of your fingers can grip at the lateral epicondyle where the common extensor tendon is. From here, we are going to pronate our patient's forearm, radially deviate the wrist, and then extend the wrist. So this is our starting position for the test. We then ask our patient to make a fist, and then in this position, we apply resistance as our patient brings their wrist into even further extension. So basically, it's an isometric wrist extension from where we started, and we can relax. A couple of things to make sure of. Make sure you don't put your hand as the examiner on the fingers. It's going to go on the dorsal of the hand. And a positive outcome in terms of this test is the reproduction of our patient's pain, which may well be at the lateral epicondyle, at the common extensor tendon, or at the muscle belly of the wrist extensors and the finger extensors, which is in the posterior forearm. So do we use this test in clinical practice? Absolutely, we use it all the time alongside Morsley's test, which is for, th which is for third digit extension. And both of these are excellent tests for detecting lateral epicondylitis.